Hello everyone. Welcome to Strap Essential Tutorial Series. In this lesson, we will learn how to create a geometry using nodes. So to create a geometry, we have to go to new model. Now give a name to this model and click on OK. Now select the units. I have selected as meter. For force, it will be kilonewton. The name we have already given as demo 4 and here I am going to create a space free. So in previous lesson we have learned how to create geometry using the grid lines. Now we will be creating with nodes. So click on this user defined and here you have the window. To create the nodes here at the right hand side corner we have the node option. So click on nodes and you will have this sub options or sub tools. So here to create number of nodes with unequal spacing, you can create this one line with unequal spacing. And if it is having equal spacing, then you can create line with equal spacing. Now suppose in one direction, I have unequal spacing. So I will be click, clear, clicking on this line unequal spacing. And here, first of all, see the cursor is moving with you. So click on Alt. And here it is on hold now. So now provide the coordinate value of the first node as 0, 0 and 0. And click on this tick button which is select. Now here we have created the first node. Now we have to provide the length of this, the total long length along this direction. So again click on alt. And here in the dx1 as it is the x1 direction. Suppose I will be creating a total uh, length of 20 meter. So in the dx1, I will be providing a value of 20 meter and dx2, it will be 0. Okay, and click on OK. So here I have created the total length as 20 meter. Now to provide different spans, what we have to do? Again, I have pressed Alt and here you have the D, small d and capital D, the distance value. So first distance, suppose we have 5 meter. Then the second one, we have, suppose again, 6 meter. So, so in total, we have already created 11 meter, right? Again, we, we, have, we have left with 9 meters. So the first again suppose 5 meter and the last one is 4 meter and here we have created a group of nodes here so this is one way how you can create the nodes with unequal spacing so let me undo again and if you want to create nodes with equal spacing here you have line equal first of all we have to create the first node so alt the x1 will be 0, x2 will be 0, x3 will be 0. Okay. Now we want a spacing of equal spacing, right? So the total length I want, suppose again, 20 meter. And now it is asking what will be the spacing. So the equal spacing, suppose 5 meter. And here I have created the nodes with 5 meter of equal spacing. So this is the way we can create the nodes here. Now let me undo again. Now if you want to create a total grid of beams. So you can go to this grid. And here in this direction suppose again I want unequal spacing. So click on unequally spaced and click on OK. Again click on Alt and give the first node value as 0, x2 0 and x3 0. Here we have created the first node and I will be providing the length. Again press on Alt and provide this DX, DX1 as 20 meter. Now click on this tick button. Now you can provide the spacings here by pressing the Alt and give this DD value first 5 meter, then 6 meter, again 5 meter. 
and the last one we have 4 meter. Since you have to complete the total length which is our 20 meter. So now it is asking in other direction, x2 direction, whether you want unequally spaced or equally spaced. Suppose in x2 direction, I am going to create the nodes with equally spacing. So click on OK and the total direction you have to provide. So again, press on Alt and this DX2 here, I am going to provide suppose 15 meter or 30 meter. Now press right and this is asking in this 30 meter, how many, uh, what will be the spacing of the nodes? So if I provide 5 spacing means 5 meter spacing, now click on OK. So it will be creating the, the nodes with 5 meter spacing along this direction, along the x2 direction. Now again, like previous method, we will be going to beams and we will be creating this one as grid. So the first we need to select the left corner button, this left corner node, then right corner node and the upper corner node. So here we have this grid of beams. Let's go to isometric view and here is the beam plan. Now to pro assign properties, again go to properties, define one. I have selected this orientation and as concrete material, click on OK. Again, define another one for the columns. I have taken 300 by 500 for the columns, click on OK. Now to assign the first property to the beams, select the first one, assign, select all beams and close. If you see the rendered view, we have assigned the beam property or the material and beam property to the lines. So again, go to the isometric view. Now what we can do, we can copy this to different levels. So let's go to the plan view. This is our plan view and this node is our 0, 0, 0, means x1, x2 and x3, the coordinate value is 0. So to copy this, Again, go to copy and delete. Click on this copy. Select all nodes and we want one reference node. So I'll be selecting this reference node and by coordinate. So press on Alt and provide this coordinate value x10, x20 and x3 as 3 meter as we want the floor height as 3 meter. Now click on this select and now it is asking how many copies we want. Suppose here I need four copies and I want to connect these nodes to create the columns with the second property, which is our column property we have defined previously. Now click on OK. So if you see the isometric view, here we have the total structure. To delete the beams at the base, let's go to any of the elevation, go to the beams, click on delete and select by window. Now select the beams at the bottom and here your structure is ready. If you see the rendered view, here is the rendered view of your structure where we have assigned the beams and column properties separately. So this is how creating by creating the nodes, you can easily create a grid of beams and your whole structure. So in our next video, we'll see how to assign loads on this structure. Thank you.